Okay, here we go uh, with uh, two hard drives. Uh, turn on my monitor so I can see what's going on. Alright, um, sees the hard drives to boot up. Okay, this is a Windows 7 80 gig hard drive going to a 1 terabyte. Alright, so far it's failed with Windows 8, Windows 8 uh, Pro 64 bit, so this is Windows 7 32 bit. Both going over SATA. I did try this hard drive, this is internal of this computer. It was sitting in there, and I had the um, one terabyte on a USB hookup over here, and it wouldn't even see it uh, in disk management. Actually, disk management did see it, but Petition Assistant did not see it. So we already know that um, uh, Petition Assistant does not see the terabyte out on a, a USB 2.0. Let's go into uh, computer, right click, manage. Let's see what we have. Go to disk management. And we have both of our drives. This is the internal drive of this computer. This is the uh, 80 gig drive with Windows 7 on it from the other Dell computer. This is unallocated one terabyte. So it sees both of the disks. So we're going to close that. Let's go to our petition assistant. And there's our drives. Okay, so we want to copy a drive. This is uh, the drive we're going to copy. Copy the petition. Do a quick copy. And next, we're going to select our unallocated one terabyte. Next, that's all. That's all it's going to be. Now we could pull this over if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to take this and we're going to merge this together to make it a, a, a full ter uh, terabyte hard drive. So we're going to say finish. We're going to go up to our check. Click check proceed are you sure yep and there it goes should be relatively quick since it's only an 80 gig hard drive coming from going over SATA um, and uh, really there's only a th not even a gig of space being used okay on the operating system so um, it should go relatively quick I want to point out on the bottom here is moving uh, 4.48 gigabytes out of 80 gigabytes over. It's just about done. This is taking less than uh, five minutes. I mean, it's just zipping along. So definitely uh, working inside on uh, eight and on SATA uh, uh, plugs on the motherboard or external. Uh, you know, in the back of the computer is uh, going to be so much faster than USB 2.0. Uh, don't have a 3.0 to actually test, so I can't uh, can't test that yet. And 100%. It's been successful. All right. So uh, there it is. Okay. We're going to take this, highlight this. We're going to merge the partitions. Okay. I want to merge it with the unallocated, the rest of the drive. And okay. So it's got that all green now. It was what it's intense to do. We're going to hit okay. Proceed. Are we sure? Yes. And there it goes. Successful. And now we have a one terabyte hard drive with four gigabytes of stuff on it kind of overkill <laughs> but you know this is this is the reason for the uh, video all right so <clears throat> now let's go ahead and um move it over to the original dell and uh we're going to take the uh, take the uh, 80, 80 gig out of the bracket and we're going to put this one in so here we go okay i installed the one terabyte hard drive that now has one to seven 32-bit on a Dell, this Dell computer, and that's the screen is going to come up on. I want to go in the BIOS first. I'm going to hit the power to bring it up on F2. I want to go into the BIOS and see what see what it lists for the hard drive. Okay, so let's go down to onboard. Uh, let's go to drives. Enter. Drive zero, and there it is. 
Hitachi, one terabyte. The drive is controlled by the system BIOS, so it's in there. So now we're going to boot up, uh, let it go all the way through, and bring up Windows. Let's hope it works. <laughs> so exit. I'm going to re on exit setup. Let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. That's a good thing. All right. Look at this. Marvelous. I'll tell you, Windows 7, uh, Windows 7 uh, guys will be really happy on this. Okay, it uh, found the drive on the bottom. It may want to reboot uh, to have the drive work properly. That's what I've experienced with a lot of the computers. Okay, um, Okay, new hard drive is installed, but not work properly until you reboot. So I'm not going to reboot right now. I want to go see. Just all I want to do is see just how big that hard drive is. I uh, don't want to reboot now, guys. Uh, okay, my computer. C C drive it says it right there. I want to bring it up. Right click, properties. Is that sweet? Look at that. One terabyte. Operation successful using Windows 7 32 bit. That's an overkill, I think. Four gigabytes being used on a terabyte hard drive, but hey, a customer would be extremely happy with this. All right, so hope you liked the video. Hey, share with a friend. A really great uh, product, the Partition Assistant.